fake it Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Hey, what is up, Rando? Sorry for the loud noise. We're on the interstate. I got off work not very long ago. We are on our way to the girlfriend's house. Uh, we have, She has a performance tonight that I'm going to go to, and then tomorrow morning, Throttle Co. is hosting a little... Uh, like their little toys for tots run, I think is what they're calling it. And uh, you know, I wasn't originally gonna go, but then the girlfriend's like, it's gonna be a nice day, we can ride. And I'm like, yeah. So she convinced me, I'm gonna go crash at her place tonight, I'm gonna park my bike in her garage next to hers. And you know, kudos to her, because like I said, I originally wasn't gonna go. And then she's like, we should do it. So she convinced me, she talked me into it. God, I missed this bike. So, I think I said it in my last video, I have ridden, I missed a month riding for the first time since I bought my Rebel back in uh, April of 21. November, November 2023 is the first month I went without riding at all since I um, bought my Rebel back in 2021. And I didn't realize it until after December began and I looked at the calendar and I thought about it. I'm like, the last day I had my leg over a bike on the road moving was October 31st when I got home from the Forgotten Angels camp out. And that hit me hard. I did not like that. Because I have ridden every month and I have loved it. Even on the cold days where I hated the cold but I loved being on the bike. It didn't sit well with me. And I I just still haven't been able to get myself into a headspace to edit. Every time that I have been in the headspace to edit, I've been in the middle of a work day in the office and I can't, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> Especially because it's the end of your time crunch. There's a lot on everybody's plates, including mine, so we're busy. And YouTube is my hobby. My office job is uh, my breadwinner, so that's going to take priority. You know, they say do what you love. I say do what lets you do what you love. So I got a job. I don't hate it. There are a lot of days where I do enjoy my job. There are days I don't. But there are a lot more days where I do enjoy my job. But because of that, I have a decent job. I make okay pay. I'm able to do the things I love like ride a motorcycle to Florida, ride when it's 50 degrees to Columbus, and just enjoy two wheels in general. If I didn't have the job that I have right now, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Tomorrow morning, myself and the girlfriend are going to go participate in the Throttle Company. I believe it's, they're, it's a toy run, I think is what it is, but it's essentially like Toys for Tots, if you know what that is. Long story short, we're going to go by bunch of kids toys donate them I believe it is to the Salvation Army and from that we are going to be you know donating those toys so that underprivileged children who aren't gonna have a Christmas otherwise can have a chance to get something for Christmas now I grew up never having needs I only ever had once I always had stuff for Christmas I do know that there are people less privileged than that you know, it's the same thing of like holiday seasons, people shouldn't be spending it alone unless that is what they truly want. Um, I'm not a fan of that. I personally don't like being alone on the holidays. I like spending my time with people. So I like the idea of giving back a little bit. Even if it's not to the community I live in or grew up in, it's still giving back and I'm totally for it. You know? So if you got five, 10, $15, I would normally say donate it, give it to Forgotten Angels, but this time, because we are close to Christmas, and I'm sure this video is going to come out well after Christmas, but if it's near Christmas time and you've got the extra cash, donate to Salvation Army, do a Toys for Tots run, you know, do something, give back to the little ones, because at the end of the day, they will be replacing us in 30 to 40 years, all of us most of us are going to be dead, the other half of us are going to be retired, and it's that next generation coming up that's going to be taking care of the world. 
So let's not raise them to hate things. Let's raise them to know that there is some compassion in the world. It's the season to be caring, it's the season to be giving, and I'm choosing to care for people, I'm choosing to give a little bit. And I would hope that for those of you that are able to, you are doing the same. We'll pick up tomorrow morning, probably on the road after some caffeine. Okay, randos, it is the next day, and it rained last night. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by looking at the ground, but it's wet. Girlfriend and I's bikes are out and packed up and ready to go. She needs to swing by the office. She forgot something there that she absolutely has to have. So we are going to swing by her office to let her pick that up. And then we are going to go to, I think it is the Target, Target on Olentangy something in Columbus, Ohio. And that is where we're going to be meeting up with everyone doing this event. And uh, we're going to get some toys for kiddos. I haven't figured out what I'm going to buy yet. I might do some like, card games so, like Uno and poker. And, no, not poker. But Uno and just some simple card games like that. Maybe a couple small toys. You know, like stocking stuffer stuff. Just because it's simple and everybody enjoys it. And it's good family activities to do. So, we'll pick up on the road. All right, randos, on the road, heading to where she works, her office. Um, like I said, it rained last night. I don't have rain here anymore. Jeans are already a little wet. Feet are dry because of these awesome India Ridge crows. Eyes are fogging up, so we gotta crack that. Sorry for the additional wind noise. Uh, we are riding through Columbus. I hate riding in the city because red light. We've already hit a few. I just wanna go, but I don't think the girlfriend's much of a fan of the interstate, so we uh, can already see all the water on my boots. We're avoiding that. So she rides a Shadow, I forget the year, I, I want to say 2011 or 2013, but I feel like that's wrong. That's probably wrong. Anyways, she rides a Honda Shadow. It's a nice bike. It sounds better than my lowrider. Her exhaust is a billion times better than the stock exhaust on my lowrider. And you know, to say I'm jealous would be, I don't wanna say an understatement, because jealousy, I believe, includes anger. But I'm not angry. So envy, I'm envious of it. And I know what you're all thinking, we'll just put on a new exhaust. Well, I was looking into it a little bit not too long ago. And I'm way behind in everyone's content. But then I saw uh, Sydney, when she was here in Ohio last, told me that Blockhead was working on a exhaust. I was like, ooh, okay. And I think she turned the video on on my living room and I just kind of like spaced out. I don't remember watching it. But I went back and watched it. I'm like, buddy, that's the exhaust I want. Give me that. So if Blockhead Garage makes an exhaust, and they do stick with that, I will likely get that. Also, I need a new helmet. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Uh, I'm wearing it still, and it's damaged because I don't have another helmet set up. One for vlogging and two for riding. Serotonin. Serotonin, dopamine immediately, like, oh. Oh. Head down in shame. Her bike better. A little too much throttle there. But I'm out of practice. I took a month off and now I don't know how to ride. Alrighty. Girlfriend got what she left at the office that she needs for the day. Um, I already brought up the directions why she ran inside to the Target we need to head to. Let Nicole, Road Warrior Motor, know that we're going to be a little behind schedule. Well, I texted her. Whether or not she saw it or replies, that's a big question mark. So, for those of you, because I've never done a toy run before, this will be my first time. Um, 
what do you get? I know Jess has done a couple videos talking about the toy runs that she's gone on and she gets art supplies because she loves art. Well, I love video games, card games, board games, and books. I don't think kids are gonna want books on Christmas. I know I wouldn't mind. So as I was saying, you know, I wouldn't mind a book for Christmas, but I know tons of kids, it's the last thing they want. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get like, I don't know, like Uno, Apples to Apples, um, some smaller, smaller items like that. But what I, you know, again, I'm just curious, what, when you go on toy runs, or if you donate things for toys or tots, things like that, what do you get for kids to donate? Um, my mom, her church does this, and apparently she took one for a kid who, all he wants is a guitar, he wants an acoustic guitar. And she asked me if I had one, and I'm like, well, I have one that belongs to grandma, who, and my grandmother's still alive, but you know, my grandfather got it for her, for her to learn to play along with a guitar I think that was for my aunt for my aunt to learn to play or something like that and I took it because in college I started to try to teach myself during my last uh, month or so of college because it was helping me to just break away from everything and just de it, even though I was trying to learn something it was helping me de-stress so I kept it I told her like hey you know if you need money to get one I can chip in but I would like to keep the guitar I have simply because, you know, it belonged to my grandmother and I'm not usually much of a sentimental value, but my grandfather bought it for her. My grandpa's passed. My grandma's still alive. But when my grandma's gone, it will be something that belonged, you know, to her, given to her by my grandfather that I now have. And I, I like the sentiment of that. So I've got what I'm getting. Some Hot Wheels, a Rubik's Cube, Exploding Kittens, Uno, and a regular deck of playing cards because family stuff and something for the younger kids that just like to be left alone. I think Dylan's having trouble. Yeah, I don't know what kids like. But I did get this Ninja Raphael. Turtle. That was the one I always liked because the angry one. Yeah. What did they say in the song? He's cool but rude. Do you know I don't one? remember. Yeah, it's cool but rude. Tony Hawk. Everybody likes Tony Hawk. Tech deck. Elsa. I assume yeah. kids like this. Oh, yeah. You can't just get stuff for the guys. Who put us I know. in charge? That was exactly right. I caught too many guys things. Everything I got I think is pretty gender neutral yeah family oh. stuff kids stuff it all fits we got a decent group size of people i'm assuming nicole or dylan is leading we're getting ready to head out to uh, the drop-off destination A block for us. Also gives us a chance to see everybody. All right, I missed it, but uh, we are at the drop-off site for the toy drive. How did we beat Nicole and them here when they left before us? Ow! You get lost? Uh, we got the motorcycles coming in. Make some noise, guys. Let's hear those engines. Talk to her, she's the one that organized it. And just as quick as we got here, we emptied our saddlebags and I guess we're leaving. 
Maybe not. Uh, I guess Nicole wants to get photos. I think I got that on camera. I did. Annette, how could you not be in gear? Yeah, no. They uh, asked where we were from, and I'm like, what? And they're like, what group? I'm like, oh, uh, talk to her. Nicole, she organized it. So we were with Throttle Co. They announced us as that. And literally, we just stopped long enough to empty our saddlebags, and uh, we're on our way. You have, to, you have to be in gear. You know, you have to be in first gear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Could get him. <laughs> oh. I have one of the worst sounding bikes. Uh, it's probably gonna put us in the interstate. This is probably gonna avoid the interstate. That's probably what it is. And we got a little bit of battery life left. Probably swap it out at a uh, Rapalco. I'm guessing we're just gonna snake our way through town. Oh, he's on his phone. Now would be the perfect time. He's fucking with his phone, so now would be the perfect time. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be real I'm smelling all this food now I'm hungry because uh, it is past my typical lunch or no it's close to lunch time for me You want to see me have a good day? Any Kingdom Hearts music will do it. And now we're here. All right, randos. Uh, we had our fun. We had a hot chocolate and we had a bunch of cookies. I'm hungry though. And I got a lot I gotta get done this afternoon, including showering and getting ready to dress up for a girlfriend's work party that I was basically like requested to come to by her. So gotta go home and get fancied up. Uh, I love and appreciate everybody. Thank you for tuning into this one, and I can't wait to catch everybody in the next one. Goodbye.